Hello and welcome back to our Thankful for 30 challenge. Today is day 11 and it is all about learning to say no. <laughs> I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. So yeah, I know that learning to say no might seem like a weird thing to discuss, but if you are somebody who struggles always saying yes, if you are a people pleaser at heart and you are someone who just really, really struggles telling people, no, I can't, I have other things going on and you always feel like this deep obligation to say yes and to help and to serve and to show up and to be there, Number one, I want you to first and foremost know that like that's an incredible trait. It really, really is. And there is nothing wrong with that. However, when you are saying yes to everyone else, you are ultimately saying no to some of the things that you might ultimately want to work on. And that is the reason that we are going to talk a little bit today about saying no and why that actually is necessary in your life. When it comes to this, I want you to consider this as something that you are gonna work on. It's gonna be a work in progress. It's not going to be like learning to say no and now we say no to absolutely everything. No, that's not what we're saying. What I'm saying is you are going to start really thinking about things before you say yes or no. You are going to start giving yourself permission to say, no, I can't, I won't be there, I'm not available. I know it's gonna be tough. I am somebody who is absolutely what I would consider a recovering people pleaser. And as difficult as, as it has been in multiple situations, I am so thankful for the times that I have said no and ultimately said yes to what I wanted or what I needed at that point in my life more. So that's kind of where this is, where this is going. We are talking about being thankful. We are in the thick, we are on day 11 of this thankfulness challenge essentially, and you are you are hopefully tracking your habits on your habit tracker. You are hopefully making strides towards the goals that you have set. These habits are hopefully helping you get to those goals that you've set. And the way that you achieve your goals is by being focused and making sure that you are creating time because you can't just expect time to all of a sudden to appear. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but you are creating the time. You are making the time that you need in order to actually make strides. And in order to do that, you have to be saying no to giving your time away to other people. Now, this is going to be different for everyone. Again, my situation is not going to look the same as your situation. If you have children, I don't yet have children. So obviously you can't necessarily just say no to all the events that your kids are going to, but you could say no to some of them. Maybe you evaluate what things you are doing as a family, what your kids are doing, what you are spending extra time doing. Maybe it's TV, maybe it's something as simple as TV or like we've talked about in a former video, scrolling on social media. Maybe it is something as simple as that that you need to start saying no to so that you can start saying yes to achieving the habits on your habit tracker. Maybe you've gotten 11 days into this month now, you're filling out this habit tracker and you're seeing that there are gaps because you're not making or creating the time needed to actually achieve those things. So this is truly going to come down to you being able to flex that muscle of saying no. And I know, again, for the people pleasers out there, this is probably like your worst nightmare. You're like, no way, I'm not doing this. I love helping people, I meant to help people. And I absolutely agree. I am a people pleaser. I believe I was put on this earth to help others. If you're an Enneagram person, I definitely have a strong wing too, but my sole purpose on this earth is not just to serve other people, it's also to achieve the goals and, and follow the calling that has been placed on my heart. So I have to start saying yes to myself, which is going to mean saying no to other opportunities, to other asks and requests from others in my life. This is where it's going to come down to you really taking the time. If somebody asks you, I want you to start by saying, you know what, let me think about it. That way you're not immediately telling somebody no and you're not immediately telling somebody yes, but you're requesting the respect that you absolutely deserve to say, hey, let me think about that or let me check my schedule. Don't immediately say yes, don't immediately say no, but instead just be like, hey, I need to check because ultimately that's what you're doing. You're gonna come back, you're gonna look at your planner or your schedule or your life or just you're gonna check in with yourself and say, do I have the energy for this? Do I have the desire to do this? do I actually wanna do this? And if I say yes to this, 
What is this potentially taking me away from that I might also find important or necessary or want to achieve? Because that's what it comes down to. So I will tell you there have been multiple scenarios in my life where I have said no to going to events or going to parties, weddings, those sorts of things that in the moment really stunk because I had FOMO, I was missing out on that opportunity of spending time with others. But in the long run, I was so thankful and so appreciative and more than anything, so proud of myself that I did in fact say no. I am somebody who loves achieving goals. I also love helping others. But what I came to realize is those two can cohabitate, but I have to give them equal consideration. I have to give them equal time and energy. I can't just constantly be serving others and expect my goals to be achieved. I also can't only focus on my goals and feel fulfilled that I'm also helping others, which is an important part of my life and an important part of what I want to do. So take that time, start by simply saying, hey, let me check my schedule. Let me think about it. Let me see if that works for me. You don't have to start out and just go to an immediate no. And even now, even though I have said no multiple times, there are still situations where I'm like, you know what? I need to weigh my options. I need to discuss it with my husband. You know, sometimes it comes down to that. It's just like, hey, if I go to this, are you cool with that? Not because I'm asking his permission per se, but just because it's like, hey, did you have plans for us or did you have a desire to do something? Just the other day, I came home instead of going to a dinner with some others because my husband was home after a long day of work. I wasn't sure if he was gonna be home or not. And I came home and we ended up having a night together, but I checked in with him. So I was able to now say no to this situation because I wanted to spend that time with him. So I was able to say yes to a night with my husband and no to a night with friends that I would have absolutely enjoyed but again, I had to weigh those options and I chose the one that I felt was the right choice and I'm so glad that I did that. So that is my tip for you today. I hope that it makes sense that being able to say no is an important part of life. It is an important part of your journey and achieving goals, habits, anything that you set for yourself because you are the only one that can say no. You are also the only one that can say yes. You're also the only one that can work towards those goals. So. I hope that makes sense. Happy day 11, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. See you